William Hill sponsors Joshua versus Barker live on Sky Sports Box Office. James Elder, IFL TV, MTK Global with me. I've got Tony Bell. You have just witnessed Anthony Joshua adding the WBO title yes. to his impressive haul. Victory over Joseph Parker. Can Brilliant. you put into your own words how you assess that? Controlled, constructive. Uh, a beatdown, really. You know, a boxing lesson. It, it reminds me of the way Lennox used to do things. He used to defuse fighters and use his advantages to, to, his, to his advantage. So Anthony went into the fight, the bigger man, the stronger man the longer reach, and he used it to his advantage. It's not, this is not called fighting, it's called boxing for a reason. And tonight he went out there and he displayed boxing ability. KD, well done, brother. Take Thanks, it. KD. Thanks, I'm gonna go and see, is he in there now? I'll go, I'm gonna go, is he in there or has he got? I'll go and see him in a minute. Well done, K. So, listen, I'm just happy for him. He's done fantastically well. Uh, he, he's, he's the flag for, for British boxing, he really is. And, I'm happy and, and lucky to be a part of it and I hear while he's here raining, uh, he's doing a fantastic job. What made me happy is coming out and saying that British boxing happens here. The boxing, world boxing revolves around us. We don't need to go to America. What can America give us that we can't? America doesn't do 80,000 seats of stadiums. America doesn't give you 90,000 seats in Wembley. America doesn't do pay-per-view numbers like Joshua does it because their cash cow is now gone, Floyd Mayweather. The only guy who could outdo Floyd Mayweather on pay-per-view is probably who can outdo Anthony Joshua on pay-per-view is Floyd Mayweather. He's gone. Can, in your opinion, Anthony Joshua be as big as Floyd Mayweather? Globally, yes. Yes. And, and let, let's just take into consideration he's going to do it without the the uh, the money team moniker kind of thing, though. The, the, the tons the established of women. Route. Yeah, the, the tons of women around and playing the rogue and stuff like this guy's gonna become an absolute global superstar when he smiles at the camera when he embraces every kind of different people when he helps everybody when he says nice things this is going to be a positive role model it's not going to be the way floyd mayweather portrayed our sport to be as you know the bad side this the bad it's not going to be all about the flashy cars and the money listen anthony joshua could take that route and it will probably still pay financially but he doesn't he wants to use his his, his influential Bases on positively, he wants to get it out there in a positive way. And people are going to say, Oh, Bell, you kissing Joshua's ass and all that. It's just a fact. He, now, he's, he's, he's 2018 Mike Tyson Tony. Uh, without without the, the notoriety, without the controversy, without the crazy things that go on in the street. He's, I'm not saying he is Mike Tyson, what I'm saying is he's 2018 version. He always delivers, he always wins. 99% of the time, he gets the knockout. He just does the job, man. Tonight, I'm happy for him. He's done great. We wanted Deontay Wilder here today to yes. have his say and no doubt set up that huge unification class with Joshua. He chose not to come tonight. Yes. Wilder, his name was spoken after the fight. He and hasn't come. Will it happen? What's your thoughts? It will, I think in the end, public demand will make it happen, but he hasn't come for the simple fact that he wants to show he's bigger than this. But the fact of the matter is, listen, mate, you were going to go to Russia for a $7.2 million pay split. That, 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 let's not to forget fight Alexander Povetkin. He was until Alexander Povetkin failed another drug test. That's another story. But he was going to go to America for $7.2 million. I'm pretty sure he's going to come here for an awful lot more. What is all the wrangling and arguing about? Like Eddie said before, his team haven't contacted him once. So it's all well and good talking over the social media, talking down the camera, I want to fight you, I want to do this, I want to do that. But ultimately, Make your manager get in touch with his promoter. And then the latest one I heard was, oh, Eddie Hearn makes money. Uh, it, it's a white man making money off the black man. So now we've got this race kind of thing, which is absolutely embarrassing because does Shelly Finkel not get paid from you? I want to come on I'm to I'm pretty subject. sure Shelly Finkel don't work for free, you know, brother. Honest to God, I'm, I swear to God. So you, you can't make it a race thing and then it's the, you know, all the negative things I've seen coming from the lad. When I met him, listen, I think he's a fantastic fighter. 
I admire the job he's doing, you know, what he's doing, raising the way he's raising his children, fair play. But, but, as, a, but, as, a, but as, a, as a champion, he should carry himself different. He's, he's a big one. Uh, he's WBC heavyweight champion of the world. At the end of the day, he needs to be seen to be making to want these fights happen. The style is talking about putting bodies on, on a record. Mate. It's, this is what I was going to come on to now. We saw these comics that have caused a huge uproar within it's the disgusting, sport. It's disgusting, mate. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. And I'm pretty sure the WBC won't tolerate that. Well, I know they won't. Maurizio Solomon is an... Uh, He's a very strict guy. I mean, listen, I, 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 after what happened with me and David Hay, a few exchange of words at a press conference, he was one of the first guys to contact me and warn me over my conduct. Has it been taken out of context, his remarks, or do you feel that we can take that as a statement he genuinely feels and believes? If he said it and meant it, it's just a gobshite. It's obvious. I, I don't think he's stupid enough to do that, though. But listen, ultimately, he's got to come here. Understand you're playing second fiddle. Smashes it. <laughs> You're playing second fiddle, KD always tells me this. You're playing second fiddle. I want to talk a little bit about David Bryce today. Very gallant and brave performance from the big man. He, he had Povetkin, Alexander Povetkin, rocked very badly. It uh, looked like he, he was given a standing eight count for colliding with the ropes. He was going to go down the ropes. What, what are your thoughts on what we just witnessed with David Price? Just like gutted, it? mate, that it hit. The ropes kept him up, and I'm gutted they came at the end of the round and the bell saved him. But it's boxing, and it broke my heart. It really did. I didn't. I wanted to stop working tonight after that fight. It really, really broke my heart. I can't understand. When I walked in David's changing room tonight and the position I've seen him in, it truly broke my heart. In a dressing room with with Janeman and people like that, he's better than that. Now he's you're talking friend. about he was in before he got switched into the other changing room. Yes. That's right. I had a little word and a chat with a few people and he got to move the dressing room, but it broke me up. It just broke me out, James did. So I don't really want to talk about him, it's just broke. Seeing him like that tonight, that's not the David Price I know. David Price, I know, means he's a strong man and he's capable of knocking out any heavyweight in the world, and that's all I, that is always how I will look at him. He's my friend, he's a very good person, uh, and boxing, there's more to life than boxing. Do you feel? He's a lovely man, he's a brilliant father, he's a great husband, and he's a, he's a very good friend. I love him to bits. Do you feel we'll see David Price in a boxing ring again? Do you feel that that'll be it for him, or do you think he, he he's mentally strong enough to want to come back? Oh listen, you've got to be mentally strong just to get in the boxing ring. I'd love to say yes, but I don't know. I can't answer that question for you. I'm just broken out. If I'm broken out of form tonight, can you imagine how he feels? It's going to take time and I really don't know. But tonight, he took a big gamble and a big risk and he, and he, 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 he tried to take an opportunity because opportunity came knocking and I can't knock him for that. You know, he tried. Uh, and he very, very nearly pulled it off, but it just wasn't his night tonight. Is this wet your appetite for May the 5th? This big night, big crowd, big arenas. Have you got the have you got the spite, the bit between your teeth, Tony? I've always got the bit between my teeth, mate. <laughs> it's never left me teeth. I'm like a fucking hungry wolf. I shouldn't say wolf, that's uh, that's Dillian's. That's, that's Dillian's, yeah. That's he's, Dillian's he's territory. Right. I ain't playing around with that, so... Uh, I'm like an, uh, a hungry hyena. We I don't hunt in packs. Dylan was actually here working for TalkSport today. Did I you and him get a chance to have any I, friendly I, we conversations? Had a little bit of, we had a little bit of uh, banter between, between ourselves, between Sky and TalkSport. And I think he'd done a great job on his last night. Uh, he done a fantastic job on Lucas Brown. I thought he was a great performance. And, and he's shown he's up there with the other heavyweights in the world. So I'd love to see Dylan White beat Alexander Povetkin. I really would. I'd love to see him smash him. He'd definitely take the fight. You, don't, you won't have to Listen, ask him Dylan twice. Dylan White will fight anyway. Simple as that, and it's no coincidence why he was calling my name because he just wants a big fight. He wants to be in big fights. Do you respect I, that? I, I can't knock him for that. No, at first it was kind of a bit personal the way the back and forth was going, but ultimately, when he just said, Listen, I'm saying it because I just want to fight you, I can't knock that. Do you know why? Because I've done it many a time. So I give him all the credit in the world, I praise him. I think he's doing a great job at what he's doing. I want to see him shine. He's British boxing, like AJ said tonight, British boxing is booming. You know, we're all, the heavyweight scene is booming. I'm not really a heavyweight. I'm just a, I'm a fake one. <laughs> I'm a cruiserweight pissing around with heavyweights. On May the 5th, you're going to see two of the country's... Cruiser heavyweights down at it. Uh, you're going to see one of the best cruiserweights uh, Liverpool's ever had, possibly has ever had. Then you're going to see the best cruiserweight that the, the country probably might have ever produced. I personally think it's Johnny Nelson, but... You know, I can, I can understand why David Hay is looked that he's been the only undisputed one we've had. So, we'll see, we'll see. All I can say is, May the 5th, I end his career. It goes out with it's a over. It's over. He's finished. May the 5th, he's finished. 
don't care what version it can get in the ring, it's over. It does not matter. I don't care how quick or fast he is, how pretty he looks, how many muscles he's got on his big six pack, how many how many things are low, like, you okay. right? Have a safe trip home, lad, well done. Yeah, I don't care how many muscles where he's got on, how he looks, who gives a shit, he's getting beat on May the 5th. Tony Bell, I'm going to leave you to go and catch up with Anthony Joshua. Thank you for giving me a great time today, mate. Don't say thank you. And listen, James got a lovely gold watch on behind this camera. It's obviously paying to better to be behind the camera than it is in front of the camera. James, can I work for iPhone more than just soon? You can work for us any time you want. Thank you very much. No problem at all. Thank you, Tony. See you soon. Boxing should be. William Hill sponsors Joshua vs. Barker live on Sky Sports Box Office.